Okay, here's a step-by-step -step instructions of how to factory reset your MacBook Pro. These are steps of how to wipe it clean so that way you can uh, get rid of it or give it to someone. So what you're gonna wanna do is go right there to where that icon is, System Preferences. Go ahead and click on that. All right, so now it'll bring up this box here. You're gonna wanna click right there on Apple ID. Over here on the top left, you're gonna wanna click on Overview. All right, after that, you're gonna wanna now click on Sign Out. What this is gonna do is it's gonna sign you out of your iCloud. Okay, now it's gonna ask if you wanna keep a copy of your iCloud data on this Mac before signing out. You're just gonna uncheck all these and then click on continue. Okay, now it'll prompt you to enter in your Apple ID password. Just enter that in. Okay, next you're gonna to wanna to go up to the top left corner on your Apple icon and then click on restart my app prompt you to confirm that you want to restart it just say i uncheck that box and just say restart okay now we're going to get ready to hit the command and r whenever you hear the tone so hold down on command and r all right there's the apple logo and then you heard the prompt, just continue to hold it down, Command and R. You'll see the Apple logo still up on the screen and then it'll start loading. Okay, now, sorry about the sunlight glaring off of the screen here, but you'll see Mac OS Recovery come up here. Um, you'll see your name come up here and then it'll want you to select a user, select a user you know the password for. All right, so just click on your name there and then click on next. All right, and then go ahead and enter in your password to your MacBook Pro. Okay, now these three options will come up here. You're gonna go down to the very bottom one that says disk utility, repair or erase a disk using disk utility, and then click on continue. Okay, go ahead and click on that Mac HD over here on the left side. And then over here, click on erase. Now I'll give you an option here that says APFS. Next thing you're gonna to do is then click on erase. Okay, now let it go ahead and go through all its steps of erasing your Macintosh HD data disk. Okay, now it'll take you back to this box here with these four different options. Go ahead and click on reinstall Mac OS. And this particular MacBook Pro still has Monterra on there, so I'm gonna put a fresh copy of Monterra on there and then click on continue. Okay, now it's just gonna ask for confirmation to set up the installation of Mac OS Monterra. Go ahead and click on continue. Okay, now the software license agreement will come up. Just go ahead and click on agree. All right, then it's gonna ask which Macintosh HD drive you wanna put it on. Click on that one and click on continue. Based on the, how fast your internet is, is how long it'll install the new copy of Mac OS, but let it do its thing. Okay, once it's done its thing, you'll see that it gives you the option to go ahead and go through all the steps of setting up your iMac as a fresh new install and as if you were to open this thing up out of the box and set it up new. Okay, hopefully this video helped you out. If it did, go ahead and click a thumbs up on it. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I make tech videos all the time and I'd love to have you back in the next one. Take care.